Welcome back. Well, Rima joins us in the studio as well. We are waiting by for the opening uh, of the Apple store here in Mumbai. Well, Rima, exciting times, right? I can't wait to visit. Uh, I've just bought an iPhone uh, six, eight months ago, so I can't buy it. That was it, your Rima. first iPhone or no. have you been an Apple user? Apple user for the last... Uh, 10 years or you know I, okay. same as me then yeah 2013 is 2013 14 is when i got my i first. can't remember but I, i've been an apple user for a pretty long time now i have to admit that i didn't buy all of them you know some of them were gifted by mom sister etc and now you're happy. saying it on national television yeah. so in the future as well these things come gifted to you <laughs> because they are very very expensive but you know the excitement is palpable yeah. right i've been reading on twitter uh, some people have queued up since 6 a.m some wow. people have come from rajasthan some have been camping all night, 8 p.m. That's what, you know, yeah. uh, is, you know the people are saying. And um, first maiden show, flagship show, Tim Cook is uh, going to be there to inaugurate the doors at uh, 11 a.m. Our colleagues are there, Mangala and Shabani. Uh, so the excitement is palpable and the countdown has begun. Yeah, just look at that. You know, you can feel the excitement out there. Uh you know, everyone's getting set out there. Manglam, Zinia, Shibani, the entire team is down there. So we'll get to them in just a bit. But um, that's the excitement. I mean, the picture, I think, tells you a thousand words. With, uh, I think Manglam is joining in, actually. Manglam? Oh, wow. <coughs> How does it feel? Tell us. Tell us more. What's the atmosphere on the ground, Manglam? It is surreal. I can't tell you, Nigel. You know, I mean, imagine Tim Cook. Dancing to Pune Dhol here, there are a bunch of things that are happening. More than that, there are like thousands of people standing, waiting by. It's difficult for us to actually look at camera and speak as well without anyone. Uh, okay, I will start. We can just hear the people talking here. Shibani is with me as well. She's got a sneak speak, speak yesterday, but this is very different from yesterday. As you can see, there is a crowd queued up outside. Many of them since 6 p.m. last night, and the excitement has arrived. And, uh, you know, we could see musicians play music outside. And it's just about a few minutes to go for the dawn. We are all excited and waiting to get inside. Yes, we're just looking at the timer. I'm just hoping, you know, that we will be... Uh, staying here long enough for us to open just a few seconds to go actually 10 59 by my Apple watch and uh, you have a bunch of people there if you the camera to pan there you will see a bunch of people uh, being this taken at by Tim Cook and everyone's removed their iPhones they just want to take pictures with Tim Cook a lot of people have got memorabilia to be uh, you know signed autographed and uh, okay, there you have it uh, just a few seconds from now you will be at the door to India's first The wait is finally over. The doors have opened to India's maiden Apple store, the first flagship show store, which is open at BKC. It's an enormous 22,000 square feet store with a glass facade, a very modern look. And um, as you can see, people are now taking photos uh, with Tim Cook. I just felt like a New Year countdown, right? <laughs> the excitement uh, in the air. And uh, I think going by the response, the enthusiasm, he must go back and immediately draw plans. Where next, right? Yeah. I have two I have two stores which have opened up, one in BKC and the other one in Saket in Delhi, which will open up uh, very soon. But he must think, where next, right? Like, India as a market is hot. Uh, the consumers are all ready. He was talking to the Apple executives inside. He was talking to the Apple staff.
All right, well, uh, just take a look at that. The excitement, you know, the lucky first few getting in there. You know, Reema, just coincidentally, I think I happen to know the couple of people who went in there as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, lucky guys. Uh, but our team will be covering this uh, on ground all through the day. And I'm wondering whether or not Mangalam is going to be picking up a phone, <coughs> whether it's for friends, family or for self. <laughs> so, we'll have to wait by for that. <laughs> yeah, uh, exciting times, right? And it just shows that India as a market has arrived. Now, Apple is such a luxury smartphone. It's got a very different strategy compared to a competitor, say, Samsung. So, I was looking at the numbers from IDC, which tracks... Uh, the volumes of smartphone market. Now, Samsung is a market leader. It is more by way of volume, volume market share. But by value, Apple commands a much higher, more than 40% of the overall value of smartphones yeah. sold all over the world are actually Apple because Apple only competes at the luxury end, the top end, while Samsung competes and operates in all the price points. Yes. So despite having such a niche strategy, you know, Apple has uh, literally dominated and changed the uh, game in every segment yeah. they've operated, yeah, music or phones. Absolutely. You know, Reema, thanks for those stats. I think Mangalam is joining in now. Mangalam, uh, I hope you're able to hear you. Tell us more. Yes, I can hear you there. And I, I mean, I don't think you guys can see me right now, but because I'm so sure there's 100 and 100 people who are just waiting to get a glimpse of oh, yeah. what, uh, you know, uh, Kim could have. Hello, can you hear me? Of here is standing by the entrance. A lot of people have been with a lot of their memorabilia. This person who's yeah. been here since, yeah, uh, you yeah, know, yeah, 8 p.m. Yeah. last night has the 1984 yeah. with him. And he's got that to be autographed. A lot of people are getting their t-shirts and uh, whatever Apple products that they have. So, you know, again, talk about yeah, Apple as being a brand, but more than anything else, it's the cult that, uh, you know, uh, uh, the, the makers, the founders of Apple have created, which has this excitement. And I heard uh, briefly about Dima talking about uh, you know, the Apple stores being glass and steel. You know, all the glass facades and the steel uh, architecture of Apple stores are patented and... Uh, one would have thought that, uh, you know, Apple is patenting not only technology products, but this time around, they have even the staircases of their stores uh, patented along with some of their iPad stands, etc. So, you know, uh, uh, in, in 1997, when Steve Jobs first thought of uh, putting out a GPS, uh, everyone was opposing that because it wasn't the best time to be brick and mortar. So, his reply to all the researchers was, we're not using brick and mortar, we're using steel and glass. And that's what... Uh, you know, Mang Mang hear you very well, uh, given the din of uh, the uh, people cheering and hooting and the excitement over there. So we can't hear you very, uh, you know, clearly, but you can see people having brought very, very old Apple products, uh, you know, more than decades old, and they are taking photos, shaking hands with uh, Tim Cook. What an opportunity, right? Iconic guy. And you are getting to see him in flesh and blood. Well, indeed, uh, Reema. So I think, uh, you know, we'll uh, get to Mangalam and the team on ground, Shibani as well as Xenia. For the time being, I tell you what, uh, we'll slip into that uh, break. We'll come back. We'll focus on markets. And whenever Mangalam and team are uh, free, we'll get a quick insight from them as to how things are moving on ground. You stay with us.